Alright, hello everyone. So I have a little bit of explaining to do. I'm going to restart um, this whole Oblivion walkthrough thing. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I've just been having too much fun with this game, you know? Um, and a lot of people have been complaining about like audio problems and stuff, and I've just been having problems on problems on problems with my audio um, and my microphone and all that. So what I decided to do is I have a different setup now. I'm not recording the sound with Fraps. I'm recording the video with Fraps, but I'm recording the sound with another application. Um, so hopefully this is going to work. So now, um, even if the microphone screws up, it's not going to uh, corrupt my video file, so I'll still have the video file. So if my microphone uh, dies for a short while, uh, what I'll be able to do is just, um, you know, I guess do late commentary, whatever you want to call it, uh, not live commentary over the part that isn't recorded. But anyway, uh, that should be good. So I started a new character because I was actually really far in the game. I had like 20 episodes pre-recorded already. I'm an old character, but anyway, we are only like 5 episodes in, so hopefully we won't um, redo too much. And this time I won't do the Fighter's Guild first, because last time I did the Fighter's Guild first, so for you guys to not have to see the same thing over again, I won't do the Fighter's Guild first this time. Um, I will be doing, I guess, the Mage's Guild first, because that's the part where I left off um, in the, you know, the series that I'm not going to continue. But anyway, I'm going to be putting a little more effort into this series. Um, initially, I just thought, hey, you know, I'll just record some videos and do this for me and not really worry too much about if it looks great or sounds great. Um, but I did try my best to improve my sound quality. I am using a pretty old mic and I just can't really afford to get a new one right now. Um, but I did try my best to improve the sound quality as much as I can. Um, and I'm also recording in widescreen now. Uh, this is supposedly going to be 720p. The screen resolution is 1280 by 720. Um, so when I render it out, I'm going to be rendering in 720p. Um, I don't know if it's going to look amazing because I've never tried it with this game before. But I am playing on widescreen now, which is a bit more annoying for me. But obviously it's going to look a bit better on YouTube. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. But anyway, we're just going to go through this initial dungeon, uh, like I always do every single time I start this game, I always go through this dungeon. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Um, and I also I also changed up my skills a little bit. Um, in my last character, all my major skills were magic skills, I believe. And I did change up my character a little bit. Uh, the reason why I did that is I wanted to make it uh, not quite so fast to level up. So... Um, there's reasons behind that, but I'm not going to go into them too much, because if you hadn't played this game a lot, you wouldn't really know what I'm talking about. But anyway, these are my major skills now, so I have Blade, uh, Marksman, and yeah, those are the only differences. <laughs> so all the rest are magic skills, yeah, but I have Blade and Marksman now, and since I'm going to try to be using Archery prim primarily, uh, Destruction is going to take a long time to level up. So, Marksman is slower to... Marksman and Blade are slower to level up than magic skills, and also Destruction is going to level up slower. Uh, and I'm also a Dark Elf and a male this time, so sorry to dis disappoint you guys. But I don't know, like, Dark Elves are just always the worst creatures in this game, so I wanted to be one to kind of embody the fact that Dark Elves don't always have to be bad. So that's what I decided to do. But anyway, yeah, we're just going to go into this cave. Um, do need some gauntlets. I don't believe I had any. So we're going to equip those. And um, I'm going to get some legs as well. You don't have any. But uh, my current legs are just really heavy and I don't want to be carrying them around because I only have 200 carry weight, which is a bit more than my last character had, but still. They're just a bit too heavy to be wearing these um, iron pants. I'd rather be a, a light armor person anyway, since uh, it allows you to move faster, and I'm more of an archer, and I don't want to be, you know, clanking around in heavy armor. Um, and I believe it's easier to sneak in light armor. I'm not 100% sure if that's a fact, but I'm pretty sure it is. And my heavy armor increased. That's because I am wearing some heavy armor as well. But anyway, let's take him out, and take her out. Come on. Come on. Die. <laughs> Alright, so I'm noobing it up a little bit here, but yeah, again, I am level 1, um, 
and I know level one isn't always the most interesting thing to watch, but hopefully you guys will uh, be able to bear through it. Um, and in return, I'm not going to be doing the Fighters Guild. I'll, I'll put that one off to last. Well, not last, last. Last, last will be the Thieves Guild, but I will do the Mages Guild and the Dark Brotherhood before I do the Fighters Guild. I'll say that. Anyway, um, where was that last person? Oh, they're there. I was like, I, was, I could have sworn I killed three people. But anyway, open up this chest. I believe there's one more person that I have to end. Isn't there one down here? Yep, there he is. Just going to end him really quickly. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about looting him because it's just going to be a couple iron arrows. Um, so what I am going to do is, I guess, travel away. Do I need to go sell stuff in town? Kind of, not really. Um, one thing I do need is repair hammers. Um, I'm looking... I don't need these rest irons anymore. I'm looking pretty good on the inventory space. I have over 100... Um, carrying capacity left, so I'm not too worried about that, but anyway, uh, I guess we're going to go start the Mages Guild first, so um, I think I showed like a couple Mages Guild quests in the preliminary Oblivion walkthrough, the bad, we'll just call it the bad Oblivion walkthrough, so in the bad Oblivion walkthrough I think I showed like two Mages Guild quests or something like that, but it's not too much of a big deal, we should be able to get through it. Uh, really quickly I need to check difficulty, make sure that that is up to par and it is. Alright, I could also do the main quest line. I think I'll do that um, after the Mages Guild and Dark Brotherhood. I could do the mage main quest line right away, but the annoying thing is when you start the main quest line, then Oblivion Gates start popping up all over the place um, and they're just kind of annoying. Um, doing Oblivion Gates is like the most tedious and boring thing in this game, ironically, since it's called Oblivion. But yeah, you never want to do Oblivion Gates unless it's part of a quest because I guess at really high levels sometimes you can get decent rewards like if you're really high levels you can get Daedric and stuff from killing the Oblivion creatures but at low levels um, the drops that you get from doing Oblivion Gates are really crappy so you don't even really want to worry about it um, anyway Mage Skill is this Mage Skill? yeah it is okay let's go in and do this quest which is called Fingers on the Mountain Fingers on the Mountain? No, that's not what it's called. Fingers of the Mountain? Something like that. I don't know. But I already did this. Yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> recommendation. What's your recommendation? Iriana. Yeah, I just did this quest not long ago. So anyway. Let's see. I want to set this one. It is Fingers of the Mountain. I was going to say, wow, no, that's a stupid name. It can't be Fingers on the Mountain. But it is. And it is a pretty stupid name. But anyway, um, yeah, I just did this quest like two days ago, real time. But anyway, I have to go back and talk to Tiki's. And she's going to give me a quest, I believe. No, she's not. Okay, never mind. That person just randomly came up and talked to me, though. It's a bit weird. But anyway, I'm going to pretend my best. Like, I haven't seen this stuff before, even though I've played through it. Because I got pretty far into the Mages Guild as well, but I didn't actually upload those videos, so you guys hadn't haven't seen them. But anyway, we have to take that quickly. Take I need a retort. Bless Soul Gem, Petty Soul Gem. I'll take those. Uh, I need an Alembic and a retort, or a Calcinator, and a retort. There we go. So I'm all prepped for alchemy, even though alchemy isn't one of my major skills this time. It was last time. But you still want to have these things because it just makes your potions a little bit stronger, I think. I don't know exactly how it works, to be completely honest, but... Alchemy skill increased. Yay. And there's an alchemy ingredient. Steel, 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 steel. Sorry. Steel, steel. Anything else? Ooh, a pumpkin. I'm not going to pick that up. Pumpkins are alchemy ingredients, but they weigh five pounds, so no, I'm not going to pick it up. Alright. Uh, where to from here? Let's see. Way up there. Yep, I remember this quest. It's quite a long walk all the way up to the top of the mountain. But we'll make the best of it. And I don't really think there's any enemies on this quest, so yeah. I'll just go up there and meet you guys when I'm back in town. 
Okay, so we're here at Cloud Top, and I'm actually, um, actually getting pretty close to level two already. Um, also, the sound has been glitching out, so we have to search the corpse and then travel back to Choral. But that's a bit creepy. But anyway, um, the sound has been glitching out a little bit, and when I cast spells, it's not making any noise, which is a bit weird. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. Anyway. So you have a choice here, you can either um, turn the book into the lady, or turn it into Tikius, the leader of the mages guild, which I'm going to do, because, you know, I want to be on his good side. Uh, and if you turn it into the lady, you just lie to Tikius and say, hey man, I lost the book, I'm sorry. It fell out of my pocket. Fingers in the mountain. Here's the book. Take it. So, now we have his recommendation. Um, so we have to get recommendation from every single... Uh, Mage's Guild. So, we're going to do Bruma next. And this one is pretty annoying. Again, I don't like doing these recommendation quests, considering I just did them. Oh yeah, and the Strange Doorway in Niven Bay, that's just a quest about um, the Shivering Isles. But we're not even going to worry about that right now. So, um, there we go, there's level 2. It said alteration skill increased, you should rest and meditate on what you've learned. So, as soon as we go into the Mage's Guild, um, we're going to start the quest, and then we're going to... And also, I want this house. I think I'm going to get this house. Because it's, like, right next to a teleport spot, so that's really useful. But, um, what was I going to say? We're going to sleep. Yeah, as soon as uh, we... Where are we supposed to go? As soon as we find the... Um, Mage's Guild here in Brew where we're going to sleep. I was uh, walking towards the Red Arrow because I'm retarded and I didn't realize that uh, there is no Red Arrow because you have to start the quest in the Mage's Guild and we have to get there before we start the quest. And I kind of don't remember exactly where the Mage's Guild is. Bruma is like the hardest town to navigate because it's all circular and all the places look exactly the same. But I'm pretty sure I know where the Mage's Guild is now from here. Um, I think it's one of these buildings right here. Hopefully. If I'm wrong, feel free to sue me. But uh, this is the Mage's Guild, isn't it? Nope. There's the Fighter's Guild. There's the Mage's Guild. See, I told you guys it was one of these buildings. And it was. Alright, so we gotta increase to level 2. Unfortunately, you don't start getting, like, good monster drops until about level 12 or 13, I want to say. Um, but anyway... Oh... Yeah, good. taking stuff from here is stealing, apparently, so I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is open this chest. Nope, nothing in there. What I'm going to do is go downstairs, door open with Mage's Guild key, and take a bit of rest, because I have to wait anyway for the Mage's Guild Master, or whatever you want to call her, to wake up, because it's the middle of the night right now, so it's 2 a.m. I've been up late all night, running around, but yeah, we have to wait until like 9 a.m. or whatever whatever time she wakes up. I think it's 8 a.m. when everyone wakes up. But So we're going to increase agility by 5, speed by 5, and willpower by 4. That's pretty awesome. That's almost a max upgrade. So I'm going to try my best to explain how this works, right? So to increase your level, you need to level up 10 of your major skills. But as you just saw, I got to pick some of these attributes at, after I level up. And you saw how it got plus five, plus plus five speed, plus five agility, and plus four willpower. So how much you can increase these depends on how much you train your minor skills. Um, for example, if you train athletics um, like ten levels before you level up to level three. So if I was to go out and train athletics to twenty six, and then I leveled up to level three, that means I would be able to click press five on speed again. Um, but if I didn't train any of my minor skills, if I just stood here in one spot and trained Restoration um, 10 levels to level 35 and was able to progress to my next level, level 3, um, I would be able to get plus 5 willpower, but everything else would be plus 1. So, I tried my best. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but... Yeah, basically you don't want to level up too fast is what I'm trying to say. Otherwise, you won't be able to increase your attributes as much as you'd like. 
Okay, so I'm going to try my best to hold off and not train my, um, what? not just spam this spell over and over and train my alteration. Uh, I'm going to try my best, and uh, in that way I'll be able to train my attribute, or level up my attributes a bit more. But anyway, what we're doing right now is looking for the Mage's Guild Master, who should be, if I could jump over this tiny railing, let me, okay. Never mind. Uh, and we're gonna start the quest. What is it? I don't think it's you. Is well, it you? Hello. You must. If and if. It is you. Well, if, I thought it was like an older lady. But anyway, there's this dude called Jaskar, and he's um, well, he's a Khajiit, obviously. With a name like that, you gotta be a Khajiit. Uh, and he turned himself invisible. But she doesn't know that. She just thinks he's disappeared or something like that. So anyway. Are either of these skill books? I don't think so. Skill books are actually pretty rare in this game. In Skyrim, you see them all the time, but in this game, they're really rare, so don't even worry about it. But anyway, we want to make sure to make this our active quest, not Adora Nibbin Bay. I do not want to do that yet. Um, but we have to talk to this guy Good here, and he'll tell us where Jaskar is. Hmm. I'm are you going to tell me what to do? With she, she, but hmm, I'm afraid you're not going to find him. Okay, so what you have to do is bribe this guy. Yeah, yeah, I get it. What a thoughtful. G is that enough? Or yep, you just have to bribe him a little bit, make his disposition a little bit higher, and then he'll tell you. Which kind of sucks because someone that had just uh, started this game really wouldn't know that. But anyway. It would be kind of confusing, like, if you just started this game, you're like, what am I supposed to do? But you have to break into her desk, and for some reason, I got caught by a guard last time I did this, but there's no one around, right? This little sneak arrow in the middle of the screen means that there's no one around. Very easy lock. Just pick this, take the manual of spellcraft, and you have to give it back to Volorano. So, no one saw me, right? The last time I did this, a guard walked into the mages guild and arrested me and i was like why <laughs> yes i have here's your book but anyway yeah like no one saw me for some reason sometimes in this game even if no one sees you you can still get caught by a guard which is just a little bit ridiculous but anyway so i believe we have to yeah we have to wait till 10 p.m. so it's going to be 12 hours from now i click 13 hours but it's really 12 and it has to be 10 p.m. like if it's 11 p.m. he won't talk to you so you gotta make sure it's the exact right time. Anyway, there we go, 9.55. Okay, it's just about to be 10 p.m. Are you ready? A pleasure to... Yep. It was. Is it not quite 10 p.m. yet? It's probably like 9.59. 9.58. Okay, come on, come on. Steal some alchemy ingredients while we're at it. Might as well. So taking these potions down here isn't stealing, but taking the ones upstairs is. Ready to find Whatever. Yep, I'm ready. Hurry up. There he is. Hello. Yeah. He was invisible. I'm not mad at you. Don't worry about it. So now we just go talk to Gina, or whatever she wants to call herself. And that will be the quest completed. It's that easy. Yeah, you know, it wasn't that difficult, but none of the mages killed recommendation quests are very difficult, so... Um, talk to her. Any luck? Fine. Give me money. Yep, I found him. All right, so I'm gonna end off the video here, and uh, when I come back next time, I'm not gonna be getting stuck on railings anymore. But anyway, yeah, if you already watched like the first five episodes or whatever that I uploaded, I'm really sorry about that. You know, I really wish that I didn't have all these technical difficulties, um, and I didn't have to you know, redo this whole thing, but it's just the audio problems were just so bad, and I just had to skip so much of the game because of, you know, uh, video files corrupting that I just figured it, it's best to start over. And also, you won't have the uh, black bars on either side of the screen watching on YouTube now, so that's also a plus. But anyway, um, when we return, I will be doing the Chaden Hall um, Mages Guild recommendation quest. So, hopefully you guys are eager to watch that, and farewell.